How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, an animated visual book summary by Alexander Sandalis. How to Win People to Your Way of Thinking, Chapter 8, a formula that will work wonders for you. Remember that other people may be totally wrong, but they don't think so. Don't condemn them. Any fool can do that. Try to understand them. Only wise, tolerant, exceptional people even try to do that. If you say to yourself, how would I feel, how would I react if I were in his shoes, you will save yourself time and irritation, for by becoming interested in the cause, we are less likely to dislike the effect. Success in dealing with people depends on a sympathetic grasp of the other person's viewpoint. So basically, this chapter is about empathy understanding the other person's viewpoint. Cooperativeness in conversation is achieved when you show that you consider the other person's ideas and feelings as important as your own. Starting your conversation by giving the other person the purpose or direction of your conversation, governing what you say by what you would want to hear if you were the listener and accepting his or her viewpoint will encourage the listener to have an open mind to your ideas. Try this, before you ask someone for a favor before you ask someone to buy your product to contribute to your favorite charity to do any type of favor for you why not pause close your eyes take a moment to try and think the whole thing through from the another person's point of view ask yourself use this why should he or she want to do it every time just take the three seconds why should he or she want to do it? It's going to take time, but it's going to avoid making enemies and will get better results with less friction. I would rather walk the sidewalk in front of a person's office for two hours before an interview than step into that office without a perfectly clear idea of what I was going to say and what that person, from my knowledge of his or her interests and motives, was likely to answer. If, as a result of reading this book, you get only one thing, an increased tendency to think always in terms of the other person's point of view and see things from that person's angle as well as your own. It may easily prove to be one of the stepping stones to your career and life. Principle 8. Try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. I just want to thank you for getting all the way to the end of a video that you're trying to learn from. Not many people do that nowadays. I hope you're learning something from the content I'm creating and if you're not, I need you to please click on subscribe. You know, I don't want people who don't think they're returning value from me. So hit on subscribe if you don't think uh, you can you continue to learn from here. And if you are, that's great, man. I appreciate you.